Hello everyone, welcome to Dr. Nikita's Rat Synapse. So our today's daily target that is for 22nd of June was general pharmacology. So I thought of discussing this question which is very very important topic that is pharmacogenomics, the various cytochromes and the drug metabolism genes which can be uh, mutated that could be a decreased or increased function and that can lead to altered drug concentration. So let us have a look at the question which was posted in our telegram channel and group Dr. Nikita's Rad Synapse. Make sure that you follow the daily polls and the targets if you really want to crack neat BG. So the question was a 38 year old man treated for HIV induced AIDS. When Abakawa therapy is begun, he develops a severe skin rash. Which of the following pharmacogenomic diagnosis might explain the skin rash? And the options are cytochrome P2D6, 2C19, 2C9, HLA-B57, UGT101 and SLCO1B1. So before I come to the answer of this question, let me quickly tell you some important points which are very, very important in pharmacogenomics. So you have the various cytochrome P. So in that you have cytochrome P2C9, 2C19 and there is 2D6. So we should just know for our exam which cytochrome is regulating the metabolism of which drug. So 2C9 is basically for warfarin. 2C9 is for warfarin. Very, very important. Along with that, it is we also have VCORC gene, that is vitamin K epoxide reductase a subunit complex gene, which regulates the warfarin metabolism. So warfarin, we can remember it as IN, so it is 9. IN is 9, so cytochrome P2C9 is warfarin. Then we have 19. So after 9 comes 19. So 19 is a uh, greater number. So we have another cardiovascular drug that is clopidogrel, which is longer than warfarin. The spelling is longer than warfarin, like 19 is longer or greater than 9. So 9 is warfarin as we saw. The 19 is clopidogrel. Okay, so 2C19 is clopidogrel. Then we have 2D6. 2D6, remember D is for codeine. D is for codeine, all right? So cytochrome P, 2D6 is for codeine. Then we have the other ones like UGT1A1. This we had discussed yesterday also in a telegram group when the target was pathology, the GIT pathology. We said that UGT1A1 is completely absent in Krigler Najar type 1. Krigler Najar type 1. This was the question asked in yesterday's Dipmer exam also. So, uh, Krigler Najar type 1 has completely absent UGT1A1. So, this is required for the metabolism or the removal of the metabolite of irinotecan. So, irinotecan is metabolized to SN38, a small molecule, and UGT1A1 is required for its removal from the liver. So, when UGT1A1 is absent, SN38 accumulates and that leads to irinotecan toxicity like diarrhea. So, this was the question which was asked that which drug should not be given if UGT1A1 is absent or deficient, then it is irinotecan. The other ones which are important that we should know as asked in a question, Abakavir. Abakavir. So, Abakavir is associated with HLA-B57. To remember it, remember HLA-B. So, AB helps you in remembering Abakavir, right? So, HLA-B57. Remember, 57 is Abakavir. Then we have the option, another option is SLC. 1OB1 that is your remember S for S it is it causes increased toxicity of Simva statin so S for S that is it causes myopathy we know statins cause myopathy so the polymorphism in SLC uh, 1OB1 which actually is a gene which codes for organic anion transporter protein OATP organic anion transporter protein Simva statin it leads to increased toxicity so now let us go back to the question so the question asks about when abacavir therapy is started, then there is severe skin rash. Pharmacogenomic diagnosis, we said abacavir AB. So HLA B57, that would be the answer. Let us quickly revise this. Whatever we saw, cytochrome P2 D6. D we said is for codeine. It is required for conversion of codeine to morphine. Then 2 C19. 19 comes after 9. Longer drug that is clopidogrel. Clopidogrel. 2C9, 9 is warfarin, 9 is warfarin. We also said we have VCORC gene, right? HLA B57, ABV said already is Abakavir, Abakavir. UGT1A1, 
UDP glucuronyl transferase basically we said it is required for removal of SN38 which is the metabolite of irinotica and UGT1A1 is absent in krigler najar one so that is why it should not be given in krigler najar syndrome. SLCO1B1, S for S which codes for organic anion transporter protein. It increases simvastatin toxicity and causes myopathy. So I hope this helps you in remembering the various pharmacogenomics which is extremely important for your exam. Thank you. Goodbye. Take care. See you soon. Signing off for today, Dr. Nikita Yosh.